asked to speak to Nicholas. Yeah, well, whatever you want, you can't play in my brother's sympathy to get it. Where is he? He's in lockup. Man, this trial is what happened. Scott Baldwin, he's out for blood. He doesn't give a damn about Lulu. And he's gonna make you pay for murdering his son. Nicholas, he lost his mind and he punched Baldwin. So he got arrested. So whatever you plan on telling him, you're gonna have to tell me instead. No, yeah, because I'm a cop? Or because I'm a brother who realizes how bad you are for my sister? I have no idea what I've done for your sister. Oh, sure I do. You're the reason she lost her mind. Sorry, I know it's late. Oh, that's okay. Come on in. Turn on the lights. Are you sure this is okay? Yes. It's all right. I was awake a lot, too. I was thinking about you. I just can't even believe that this is happening, that you are here. <laughs> it was a very hard day for you. And there have been so many times when I haven't been able to be there for you, I really want to help you now. Well, that's the thing, I just I don't even know if you can. Mm. I can't do this. There you go. Gave up my freedom for your sister, you know that? Hmm? I could be across the border by now, but I took it to Shady Brook instead because she needed help. She wouldn't have needed to be there at all if it weren't for you. I didn't want her involved in this mess. I warned you the day I found you in your garden shed that she was too fragile and couldn't, couldn't handle the mayhem in your life. So I screwed up! Now I'm trying to fix it. You're the reason Lulu's this way. And I have no sympathy to spare. Then find some sympathy for your sister, Lucky. The only person who can help her is Nicholas, so let me talk to him. There have been more times than I can count where I've felt trapped and helpless and, and even hopeless, and that's the worst. Because that, that one little word, hope, it's like a life raft that you can hold on to when things get really tough. Mm -hmm. I thought whenever you felt like that, you would pull some trick out of that big bag Dad said you always carried around. Oh, yeah. There was that. <laughs> But hope, honey, is sometimes a decision, you know? It's a state of mind and, and of heart. Well, mine kind of doesn't work together well, or at least when it should. You know, I listen to you and sometimes I just shudder because you're so hard on yourself. Hard on myself? Yes. Look at what I've done to Logan, to Johnny, to me, and they weren't my first casualties. And they probably won't be your last. You know why? You're human. You make mistakes. We all make mistakes, honey. And that's good. That's how we learn. It's true. It, 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 oh, I wish there was some way I could give you perspective. And hope. You know about the time that I was held captive by the Cassidines on that island, right? By that horrible man who called himself Nicholas's father. It was one of the worst times in my life. All I wanted was to go home and to see Luke. So I just sat in my room night after night and I stared out the window into the darkness and then the thoughts would start and the panic would rise and sometimes I would even just go out and walk the halls in the middle of the night but no matter where I started, I always ended at the same spot. Where? The nursery. I would go in and I'd stand over Nicholas's crib and I would look down at my beautiful little baby, so perfect, such a miracle. And then I'd put my hand on his little chest and I could feel his breathing slow and even and then my breathing would start to slow. My heart would stop pounding out of my chest and a peace would just sort of wash over me. And I felt hope. And when I walked out of that room, 
I always left stronger than when I came in because I knew that Nicholas was a blessing to me, but I didn't realize then how much. It's not just that he's grown into a fabulous man and, and that he's a wonderful brother to you, but honey, he saved your life. He was the only donor, the only match when you were sick. So you see, I had to go through all of that misery so that there would be a baby Nicholas who could one day save my beautiful baby Lulu. <laughs> you see, out of something horrible, something wonderful happened. And that's how it is when we least expect it. That's how it works. That's perspective. talk to you. Yes, but he made me promise that I tell him everything we discuss. Can't. He'll try to stop you. Stop me from what? Getting Lulu out of the country. You gotta take her out of Shady Brook and get her as far away from here as possible, because if she's not gone, Baldwin will put her on the stand. I, 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 I agree that she's in no shape to testify. That's just kind of a lot. That's what, she no, can't I, testify. John, we're all worried about her. Okay, but I just don't think the answer to this is taking her away from the people she cares about. If you care about your sister, Nicholas, if you love her, you will get her as far away from here as possible until the trial is over. <laughs> Nicholas, it's not about saving me. It's about saving her. My God. She killed Logan, didn't she?